Hello. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you today? Tired. Tired. Why? What happened? Um, alert version twenty again 20 patients today yes 26 26 okay with the flu no no um, no uh, chronic disease chronic disease like for example mm, diabetes oh. high pressure wow now I can imagine how stressful can it be. Yeah. Well, but at the end you're helping people, right? And that should be rewarding. Yeah, teacher. Okay, that's great. What about you, Karen? How are you today? Hi, it was a good start to week. Okay, nice. Do you work today? Um, I with a lot of work. Yeah, mm, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Okay. Well, and what about you, Jose? How are you today? Um, fine, teacher. Fine. Fine. Did you uh, work? Oh, only, only a lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah, it's yeah. usually Monday, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, what about you, Adonai? How was your day? Um, I I feeling so so bad. Bad? Why? What happened? I have a uh, I have a relatives. He she's uh, she's she has six very oh, sick oh you have a relative yes. and he or she is very sick is, is she oh she's very sick she she oh yes. wow i'm sorry to hear that thanks teacher well i hope that she gets better soon okay that is difficult but Anyway, we have to be strong and continue, right? Okay, uh, did you check the platform during the weekend? Yes. Did you have any issue, any problem with the platform? No. No, no problem with the platform. What about the content? Did you solve the exercises? Yes. Um as the module dos, module dos. Section common two. Common okay, common medications. Common medications. Okay, that's nice. You are, um, you are okay with the contents. What about you, Jose? Have you completed the exercise in the platform? Mm, uh, no, teacher. No, why uh, not? No, uh, on weekend. Uh, and visit uh, parents, uh, no. ¿Cómo se dice poder? No pude. I couldn't. I, yeah. I couldn't work on the platform. Yes. And <laughs> uh, on with, I work in the platform. Okay. Well, the important thing is to to complete the exercise, okay, yes, remember yes. That the platform is 24-7. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, uh, today's topic is going to be imperatives. Do you know what's an imperative? Do you have any idea of what an imperative is? No idea? No idea, teacher. Okay, I will share a presentation with you. Um, I already sent the presentation. Okay.
Okay. Okay. Uh, well, this is what we're going to discuss about. It's a very colorful and nice presentation. Okay, well, imperatives. Imperatives are, um, for example, I have some affirmative imperatives here. Like, for example, come with me. Go straight. Turn on the computer. Those are imperatives. So what comes to your mind? Those are some examples of affirmative imperatives. Mm -hmm. Ideas? Okay, no ideas? No idea. Okay, well, if I ask you, um, open the window, it's too hot here. That's an imperative. Open the window. Close the door. Uh huh. Turn off your microphone. There is a lot of noise. Those are imperatives. They are commands. They are orders. They are instructions. Well, the imperative. When we talk about imperative, los imperativos son uh, utilizados para dar órdenes, instrucciones, direcciones, eh, para explicar pasos en un procedimiento. Para eso se utilizan los imperatives. Normalmente uh, no necesita sujeto porque... Eh, um, Lo más común es que se habla directamente con la persona, ¿verdad? Cuando usted está dando una orden, le está hablando directamente a la persona. No, no es necesario que lleven sujeto. Okay. Por eso solo se escribe el verbo y probablemente un complemento. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir open the window. El verbo es open, el complemento the window. The window. Uh -huh. Ajá, es un, 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 un imperative. Eso se conoce como imperative. Por ejemplo, um, si uh, alguien dice también, eh, eh, ¿cómo, me, ¿cómo hago log in uh, the conference? Pues te empieza, ok, turn on the computer, then um, um, log in with your password, Okay, mm -hmm. type the user and then click on uh, join. Luego haga click donde dice, entonces usted está dando los pasos. Le está dando la instrucción. Ok, uh, encienda su computadora, uh, abra la aplicación de Zoom, introduzca su contraseña y luego haga click and join. Eso también son imperatives. Usted solo utiliza verbo. Y complemento, turn on the computer, okay? Type your password, click and log in, and that's it. Está dando la instrucción, ¿no? el paso a seguir. Por ejemplo, si le preguntan, ¿cómo llego al centro comercial? Ah, take this, um, take this way, turn left, turn right, take the bus. Está dando instrucciones, solo dice el verbo y complemento, no necesita sujeto. Ok, el imperativo también puede ser en negativo. Para ser en negativo solo decimos don't. Don't y luego verbo y complemento. Don't go on your own, por ejemplo. No vayas tú solo o sola, ok. Don't cross yet. No, cross, no, no cruces aún. Si usted ve el semáforo en verde, don't cross yet. No cruces todavía, ok. So, para ser negativo, solo le pone el don't, luego de don't, el verbo, y luego complemento. Esta ya se las mandé a su WhatsApp, la mandé antes de la clase. Uh -huh. eh, como les decía, el imperativo se utiliza para dar órdenes, 
Por ejemplo, stand up, don't speak. Ok. Un imperativo también puede sonar un poco como rudo, ¿verdad? No le puede solo dar órdenes así a una persona. Entonces, el imperativo uno lo puede como suavizar o hacer de manera más amable agregándole please. Le puede agregar please al principio, como por ejemplo aquí podríamos decir please stand up. Y le falta la de ahí. <ríe> please stand up. Por favor, levántese. O lo puede agregar al final, decir, stand up, please. ¿Ok? Está dando una orden, pero está siendo cortés, está siendo amable. ¿Ok? Please don't speak. Por favor, no hable. Please don't speak. Está haciéndolo de una forma cortés. Si solo dice, don't speak, puede ser un poco rudo, ¿verdad? So, uh -huh. Puede agregar please al principio o al final para hacerlo ya de manera más cortés. ¿Ok? Eh, para dar instrucciones, como les decía, turn right, then go straight on. ¿Ok? Gire a la derecha y luego vaya a ser recto. Uh -huh. También se utiliza para pedir favores, para pedir que alguien haga algo. Por usted, ¿verdad? This, read this for next week. Will you? Lend me your bike, please. Mm -hmm. Open the window, please. Close the door, please. Okay? You make request. Now, uh, también se usa imperativos para invitar a alguien. Uh, por ejemplo, puede decir, come to my house after school. Ven a mi casa luego de la escuela. Come to my house after school. Para también para dar un consejo. Para dar consejo. Por ejemplo, usted le puede decir a alguien, eat more vegetables. They are good for you. Come más vegetales. Son buenos para ti. Okay? So, to give advice. Para dar consejo también. So, tienen muchos usos. Son muy importantes los imperativos. Um, también para ofrecer a, a algo, puedes ir have a biscuit. Toma un bizcocho, ¿ok? Have a glass of water. Toma un vaso de agua. Have a coffee. Have a tea, ¿ok? Have a seat. Toma asiento. Have a seat. También para desearle algo a alguien, por ejemplo, puede decir, have a nice day, have a nice weekend. Those are imperatives too. Porque okay, también a veces se usa el imperative con let's. Our first person in plural, right? Let's go for a walk. Vamos. Let's, vamos a dar un paseo. Let's go for a walk. Let's meet tomorrow. Veámonos mañana. Okay. Let's not run. No corramos. Let's not meet tomorrow. Questions? Preguntas? No preguntas? No questions, no, teacher. No questions. Sí. Está fácil, ¿verdad? Yeah. <laughs> no. Solo se ríe. A ver. Hey, let's complete the situation using negatives or affirmatives. Um, use negatives when you see this sign. Okay. For example, this one. Mm -hmm. Mix, like that, okay? And this one? Leave. Don't leave, leave the leave. door open. Aha, uh -huh. don't let, leave. don't leave the fridge door open. Open. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, negative, okay. because we have this here. Okay. Uh, next slide, let's see. 
Don't 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 write at the round. Don't write. Don't don't turn right at the roundabout. Okay. Don't turn right at the roundabout. On the roundabout. This is the roundabout. That's redondel in Spanish. Okay. Uh, what about this one? Don't open, open the door. door. He arrived. Don't open yes, the door. open the door. Open the door when he arrives. Pour some, some milk into a jug. Okay, pour. Yes, pour. Ese verbo es vertir. Uh -huh. Ajá, vierte un poco de leche en una jarra. Pour some milk into a jar. No, this is negative, right? Mm -hmm. This is negative. Don't, don't worry. It's not that bad. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's not that bad. No te preocupes, no es tan malo. Don't worry. It's not that bad. Be happy. <laughs> Open your book at page 42. Uh -huh. Open your book <laughs> at page 42. Don't talk. Just listen. Just listen. Don't talk. No hables. No. Just listen. No, no, no. Open, open the window. window. It's, it's not in here. It's hot. Okay, open the window. It's hot in here. Don't smoke in here. Um, don't smoke in here. Okay, el imperative también es para hacer prohibiciones. Don't smoke. Uh -huh. Don't touch my phone. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch my motorcycle. Don't move. Don't, don't touch my don't motorcycle. Move. <laughs> don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Sit don't still. move. Sit still. Sit still. Uh -huh. No se mueva. Siéntese y estese quieto. ¿verdad? Sit still. Next. Open your yeah. mouth. Open your, your mouth. mouth. Uh -huh. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't rock the boat. Uh -huh. Don't rock the boat. Turn left, left at the, the roundabout. roundabout. Turn left at the roundabout. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Uh -huh. Be quiet. Quiet. Uh -huh. Be quiet. The baby is asleep. Switch out your mobile phone, please. Switch off your mobile phone, please. Switch off your mobile phone. Don't, 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 touch. Don't, don't, touch. don't touch. Don't touch. With pain. Don't touch. With pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't yeah. finish. Don't finish. <laughs> the exercise is easy. <laughs> okay. Well, we have more exercise. We're going to see this imperatives in a conversation too. Okay, so in this conversation, we will practice imperatives too. As you see, the conversation is probably at a hospital or at a doctor's clinic. And here we see an imperative. Can you read it? Don't uh, work, don't work don't too, work too, hard. Hard. too hard. hard. Okay, don't work too hard. That's the topic of the conversation. As you can see, it's a negative imperative. We're going to listen the conversation and then you tell me if you find your vocabulary. Nice. 
Page 81, exercise. Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Six, conversation. Don't work too hard. Listen and practice. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Okay. Any new vocabulary? Any question about the conversation? Soda. Soda is like uh, soda, gaseosa. <laughs> Any other question? Hmm? Teacher, I I are you under this? Sorry. Wrong. Wrong. ¿Qué es lo que está yes. mal? ¿Qué está mal exactamente? ¿Qué es lo que anda mal exactamente? What's wrong exactly? Se podría decir, en el tema, teacher, don't work, don't work too hard, es como no trabajes mucho también. Sí, no, no, el, el too, uh, en este caso el too es como decir demasiado. Ah. El too, así, cuando significa también va al final. Ajá. Oh. Ajá, como que usted me diga, I work hard. Usted me dice, yo trabajo duro. Y yo le diga, I work hard too. Yo trabajo duro también, pero el to oh. va al final. I work hard too. Pero cuando va antes de un adjetivo, significa demasiado. Uh -huh. No trabajes oh. demasiado duro. Don't work no. too hard. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Gracias, teacher. Y, y sí, son palabras que son, tienen diferentes significados. A veces solo depende de a dónde se han colocado. La ubicación, ajá. La ubicación. Sí, del contexto. Buena pregunta. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other question? No questions? Okay. Uh, let us practice the conversation. Remember, intonation is important. Um, volunteers to practice, or you want to hear it one more time? Quieren escucharla otra vez? Sí. Yes. Okay, Danny, do you have a question? No. No, okay. Let's listen. Page 81, exercise six, conversation. Don't work too hard. Listen and practice. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Okay, volunteers? Carla and, uh, let's see, Carla and Danny. Carla, you're the doctor. <laughs> okay, teacher. Hello, Miss Wells. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I am going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. 
All right. Thanks, Dr. Zhang. Okay, excellent job. Just remember the pronunciation here is why. Why? 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 Okay. I'm exhausted. ¿Cómo es eso? Exhausted. 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 Excellent. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Okay, that's it. You can. Do you want to change role? Now, Danny, you are the doctor. And Carla, you are Mrs. West. Okay. Okay. Hello, Mrs. West. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thank do Dr. Chong. Okay, excellent job. Again, <laughs> only one word. This one, evening. 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 Uh -huh. evening. 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 Every evening. Every evening. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. That's right, you got it. Excellent. Evening. Evening. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, other two participants. Oh. Mm. Other nine. Yes. In in here it, it start. Um, I going. I'm gonna to give you some pills. Not is um. I'm gonna give you any pills. <coughs> I'm gonna give you. Puede decir. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you one pill. I'm gonna give you some pills. Yes, you can. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I got Liliana and se me fue quien era el Adonai. You can start, Liliana. Okay. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm gonna give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. Okay, now change. Just remember pronunciation, evening. 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 Okay, evening. now change. Uh -huh. Yes, evening. Adonai, you start now. Evening. Ahora usted empieza, Adonai, para que hagan los dos roles. Okay. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pills every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. Okay, nice job. Very good. Um, let's see, uh, another two volunteers? Yes, yes. 
Yeah. Okay, Karen and yeah. who wants to participate with Karen? Danny. Okay, Karen and Danny, you can start, Karen. Uh, hello, Mr. Quartz. How are you today? Danny? Se fue Danny. Can you I'm have. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> can you start the again? <laughs> Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some films. They own films every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't, and don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Everything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. John. Okay. Nice job. And remember, give. Here, pronunciation. Give. 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 Uh -huh. give. Let's see, I see someone here, Victor. Victor, you raise the hand. Yes, teacher, quiero practicar. Okay, quiero let's practicar. listen to Victor and Jaime. Jaime, are you there, Jaime? Okay, you can start, Victor. Hello? Uh, Con quién? With Jaime. Uh, ¿Quién es el doctor? You can. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yo. Yeah. Um, hello, Mr. West. How are you today? What's wrong exactly? Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some spell. Some pills. Some pills. Take one pill every evening after the dinner. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Just don't work too hard. Okay. Nice. I think that Jaime is having problems with the audio, but you did a very, very good job. That was a nice job. Okay, and uh, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, we're going to practice some listening. Do you remember the common medications that we studied the last Thursday? Yes, we got cough drops. Teacher. Uh-huh. And uh, can you give more sound? No, no me escuchan. Yes. yes. Yeah, um, a little bit. Ahora? Yes. Ahora sí. Yes. Okay, nice. Uh, well, the last Thursday we studied a little bit about common medications, some medicine that we can have at home, like for example, cough drops, aspirin, cold pills, eye drops, nasal spray, and muscle cream, right? Nasal spray? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
Eso lo vimos el jueves, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Vamos a practicar listening. Vamos a hacer una práctica de listening. En su cuadernito solo escriban así, number one, Chuck, Pam, Joy, and Sandra. Luego, las medications que aparecen acá, les voy a poner el audio y ustedes van a checar cuál de esas medications les deja el doctor a los pacientes. Van a escuchar cuatro conversaciones. Les voy a dar chance para que hagan el cartelito en su cuaderno. Ready? Yes. Ok, les voy a poner el audio y ahí ustedes van a chequear qué medicamentos le deja la doctora a cada paciente. Creo que alguien tiene falso por ahí con los auriculares. ¿Mm? Ok, voy a poner el audio para que ustedes escuchen la conversación y hagan un chequecito en qué medicamentos les prescribe el doctor, ¿ok? Ok. A cada paciente okay. tenemos shock. Ahí van a chequear ustedes qué le receta la doctora. Pam, Joy y Sandra, ¿ok? Page 81, exercise 7, listening. Let's take a look. Listen to Dr. Young talk to four other patients. What does she give them? Check the correct medications. 1. How are you feeling today, Chuck? Not so great. I have a really bad earache. Let's take a look. Hmm. I'm going to give you some aspirin. Okay. Anything else? Yes. Don't go swimming for a week. 2. How do you feel today, Pam? A little better, but I have a sore knee. It really hurts, actually. Hmm, let me see. Yes. Well, I'm going to give you some muscle cream. Rub some on your knee three times a day. Okay. Thank you, doctor. 3. What's the matter, Joey? I think I have a cold. I feel awful. I have a sore throat and a headache. Okay, let's take a look. Yes, you have a cold. Let me give you some cold pills. Take one every four hours. <coughs> Do you have a cough too? Yeah. All right, here are some cough drops. I hope they help. Four. What can I do for you, Sandra? I have really itchy eyes and, well, it's my nose. Is it difficult to breathe? A little. I think it's my allergies. I see. Well, try these eye drops and I'm going to give you some nasal spray. Thank you. Okay, did you complete the chart? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, we're gonna check your answers. Okay, what did you have in number one? Chuck. Aspirin. 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 Only aspirin. Yes. Uh, Pam? Most cold. Muscle cream, yes, yeah. muscle cream. Uh, number three, Joy? Cold, cold pills, pills. Cold, cold, drops. Cold, drops. cold drops. 
Excellent. Cough pill and cough drops. Drop. Cough drops. And number four, Sandra? Eight drops. 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 Excellent. Eye drop and nasal spray. <coughs> Excellent job. Great. You did a great job with the listening. Okay. Let's move to the next thing. Okay. Let's remember that, well, mm -hmm. we have the imperatives here. Remember. Como les decía al principio de la clase, ¿verdad? Los imperatives uh, pueden ser afirmativos, no necesitan sujeto, no llevan el sujeto, solamente es verbo y algún complemento, ¿ok? Si lo vamos a hacer negativo, solo le agregamos don't antes del verbo y luego el complemento. Let's Page 82, exercise 9, grammar focus. Imperatives. Get some rest. Drink lots of juice. Take one pill every evening. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Don't work too hard. All right. Do you have any question about the vocabulary? No. No. No, teacher. No. All right. Um, let's try to complete the sentences that we have here using the correct form of the verbs in the box. Let's repeat the verbs that we have. Let's repeat. Call. 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 See. 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 Call. Call. Stay. Stay. Take. 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 Not go. Not go. go. Not worry. Not, Not worry. Not worry. Not drink. Not, Not drink. drink. Not eat. Not, Not eat. Not eat. Okay. Cuando dice not, es solo para indicar que usted lo va a hacer en negativo. Acuérdese que para hacerlo en negativo nos vamos a auxiliar de don't. Okay. So, for example, number one, it says call a dentist. Call a dentist. Call, call a dentist. Ajá. Uh -huh. The number two. Don't worry too much. Don't, don't worry too worry much. Don't too much. worry too much. Okay, so number one and two is already done. What do you think is the answer in number three? What do you think? Take, take two aspirin. Two aspirin. Yes, take two aspirin. Take two aspirin. Number four? Not go Don't to school. Not go to school. Not go to school. Don't go to school. Yeah. Don't go to school. Number five. Stay. Stay, stay, in stay in bed. Stay in bed. Stay in bed. Number six. See a doctor. See a doctor. See a doctor. See a doctor. Number seven. No drink. No drink don't coffee. Drink. Don't drink don't, coffee. Don't, don't, coffee. Don't, don't, don't drink, drink coffee. coffee. Don't drink coffee. And finally, number eight. Don't, don't eat, eat any, any candy. candy. Any candy. Okay, don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. All right. Now, let's go. Yes? Eh, y cuando es ahí del, del not eat any candy, no se podría como hacer una, ¿cómo se llama? Cuando se unen las vocales y del... Contracción. Don't eat any candy. Cuando uno habla rápido, hacerlo como... Don't eat don't any eat candy. Any candy. Don't eat any candy. Ajá. Allí ya está contratado el don't. Don't eat. Don't eat any candy. Se puede como casi que unir don't eat. Don't eat don't any candy. Don't, don't eat, eat any candy. candy. Uh -huh. ah. Don't eat any candy. Ok. Se como que se unen las frases. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Uh -huh. Only for the 
Ok, good advice. Ok, la palabra advice. ¿Qué significa advice? Consejar. Consejo. Consejo. Ok, consejo. La palabra advice en inglés no tiene plural. En español sí decimos dos consejos, tres consejos, cuatro consejos. Pero en inglés la palabra en sí, advice, consejo, no tiene plural, como decir advices, eso no existe. Entonces se dice pieces, como que dijéramos piezas en español. Ok, la indicación es write two pieces of advice for each problem. Tenemos que escribir dos consejos para cada problema. Two pieces of advice for each problem. Let's repeat the problem. My feet hurt. My feet My hurt. Feet My hurt. feet hurt. I have a sore wrist. I, I have, have a sore wrist. wrist. I have the flu. I, I have, have the, the flu. flu. I can't sleep at night. I, I can't, can't sleep, sleep at, at, night. Night. at night. One more time. My feet hurt. My feet, my feet hurt. I have sore wrist. I have a sore wrist. I have the flu. I have, I have the flu. flu. I can't sleep at night. I can't I sleep, can't at, sleep night. at night. Okay, now let's write two pieces of advice for each problem. Uh, write number one, two, three, and four, and two pieces of advice. Remember that they can be affirmative or negative. For example, in this one, my feet hurt. Yo le diría, no uses tacones. Si le duelen los pies, no use tacones, ¿verdad? Entonces yo podría escribir, don't wear high heels. Yeah? Don't wear high heels. Don't wear high heels. Uh -huh. Y podría decir, put your, put your feet in warm water. Yes, ponga los pies en agua tibia. Okay. <coughs> of advice. Try to write yes. two pieces of advice for each problem. Yes? I have a short tweet. Es dolor de muñeca. Yes. O cuando. Ah. Uh -huh. Tengo una muñeca dolorida o dolor de muñeca. That's it. Mm -hmm. 
Have you finished? Yes. Okay, now let's do something. Um, I'm gonna uh, mention one of these problems and you give me the pieces of advice that you wrote. Um, let's see, Danny, I have the flu. I have the flu. Okay, ¿qué me recomienda? ¿Cuáles son sus consejos? Si yo digo, I have the flu. Take two cold pills. Okay. And stay in bed and rest. Okay, thank you, Danny. Ahora usted continúa. Dígale otro a otro compañero. A ver qué le recomienda. Um, We have Jaime, Liliana, Karen, Carla, Victor. Jose, Adonai. Adonai. I can't sleep at night. Adonai, are you there? Creo que no está ahí, Danny. <laughs> Change. Okay. okay. Jose Amaya. Uh, don't don't worry. Don't worry too much. Yes, yeah, don't worry too much. And the other? Only one? Only one. Okay, thank you, Jose. Continue. Karen, I have a sore wrist. A sore wrist. A sore wrist. Um, okay. Relax your hands, every helper. Uh, pause your activities and move uh, your fingers. Okay, move your fingers. Move your fingers. Okay. okay. Move your fingers and relax your hand. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. In this problem, and we can put a muscle cream. Yes. Put some muscle cream. Yes. Okay. Thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue, Karen. Um. Uh, um. Uh, Ha, um, no sé si está Marta. Marta, my feet hurt. Marta. ¿Quién es Marta? A ver, ¿quién es Marta? Oh, oh. Liliana. Hola. My feet hurt. And you comfort shoes. Is comfortable shoes okay? Massage with cream, the feet. Massage with cream, okay. That's nice advice. All right, guys, it's time to finish the class. Uh, thank you for joining today's class. Um, see you tomorrow. Remember to practice on the platform. Okay. See you tomorrow, you teacher. I love you your class. Okay, thank Bye. you so much. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. teacher. Good, Good night. night. Good, Good night. night. Thank you.